Okay, I watched World Wars the other night. Just figured since it's Memorial Day, it was Memorial Day weekend, I figured, why not watch it, be a patriot. All the, all the major players of World War II, how they earned their bones in World War I and then uh, came major players from World War II, which World War I, the after effects of World War I led to World War II. Uh, I'm just going to point off some uh, random notes here. Hitler didn't get into art school because apparently he couldn't draw faces. I thought that was what school was for, to teach someone stuff that they didn't know. I mean, otherwise, you're not really an art school or a school, you're just an art place. Churchill was a very capable, high-functioning alcoholic. His liver was fighting a war, too. Mussolini sounds like a pasta sauce. I mean, every Italian word or name sounds like some sort of food, but Mussolini sounds like a pasta sauce. A very spicy, disgruntled pasta sauce. And on one part, I saw like the actor playing Hitler in the trenches of World War One. He uh, shaved off part of his 70s porn star mustache and donned the mustache that no one even considered donning even before World War One or two. If that British soldier who had Hitler in his sights knew what was going to happen in the future, he would have shot that motherfucker. Fun fact, well, depressing fact, Hitler was once friends with Jews. I'm not kidding, that's an actual fact. Watch 10 Things You Didn't Know About Hitler. The final agreement of the treaty at Versailles, total castration and boning of Germany, which led to World War II. So thanks a lot, white people. I say white people because, uh... The Japanese were there. Not many people will actually realize that. They were there. They sat there like idiots while all the white people were like fucking around, shitting, talking, and crap. It's like, we gave you money to win this fucking war. That's not even our problem. See what happens, white people, when you ignore minorities, especially ones that helped your ass? You get a world war. On a side note for Mussolini and his gang, he called them the Black Shirts. That's a cool ass name for a gang. I mean, a street gang, not for like um, a political party, just like a cool ass, like West Side Story y kind of gang. Germany sent Mexico this telegram saying, hey, if you invade America, you can like regain all these like territories and they'd be too occupied to like bother us. The only invasion I'm afraid about, like Mexican invasion I'm afraid of, it's like their food and tequila, which has already happened, and we are spewing out both ends. I have a question. Who, what idiot allowed Hitler access to a typewriter while he was in prison so he can write his manifesto? That's like giving Bernie Madoff your private ac bank account number. Another note, thank you Hitler for ruining the Hindu swastika, which was a symbol for enlightenment forever, dick. Who knew all you had to do was tilt it on its side and forever become a symbol of white power and racism. Okay, not all Germans thought, like, Hitler was, like, the second coming, okay? Some of them, actually a lot of them, most of them lived in the country, and some that lived in the city were like, Who is this ass clown? He's not even German! Oh, you know what? If only Austria didn't have such high standards for their army, and if only Germany had some standards at all for their army, Hitler would never have happened. Yeah, he did. <laughs>